I woke up for some reason. I couldn't sleep. I woke up. I saw a lot of texts on my phone. I saw the news. I cried out of joy. I jumped. I thank God. I, I don't know. I was overwhelmed. We've been asking for protection. We've been asking for consequences for more than six years. And today, for the first time, it happened. For the very first time, we see Assad held accountable just for once, held accountable for his crimes against humanity. I was overwhelmed. I felt grateful for President Trump. I felt grateful for the United States. I felt grateful for each and every person who lobbied and called and uh, kept on talking until someone actually listened. There are people in America, and I hear you supportive of President Trump, and so many people are, Democrats and Republicans, but there are also people over here in America who are saying, all right, so clearly President Trump is motivated by just, as we all ha have compassion for these just horrible images of, of the, you know, the, these babies who were, who were killed. Uh, but at the same time, this is a man who, you know, doesn't want Syrians to come into this country with this refugee ban. I want to just play some sound. Uh, Hillary Clinton weighed in. We cannot in one breath speak of protecting Syrian babies and in the next close America's doors to them. Quickly, Qasem, how do you see that? Uh, with all due respect, with all due respect, I didn't see each and every person who was demonstrating uh, after the travel ban. I didn't see you three days ago when people were gassed to death, when civilians were gassed to death. I didn't see you in 2013 when 1,400 people were gassed to death. I didn't see you raising your voice against President Obama's uh, 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 inaction in Syria that led us refugees that made us refugees get kicked out of Syria. If you really care about refugees, if you really care about helping us, please help us stay in our in our country. We don't want to come to the United States. We want to okay. stay in our country. We want to stay in our country with all the respect. This is hypocrisy. If you really care, if you really care, help us stay in our country. We don't want to become refugees. We want to stay in our country, help us establish safe zones, help us uh, stay safe in our Understand. country. And if you just give me a few seconds just to tell President Trump once again, please, sir, what you did was amazing. What you did was a powerful message of hope for a lot of people inside and outside of Syria. Please don't stop on, on this. Please help uh, Syrians stay in their country. Please establish safe zones. Please take out Assad air, air forces so they won't be able to commit more atrocities using traditional weapons. 500,000 awesome. people were killed with traditional weapons just so people can know what we have suffered in the past six years.